Hey girls welcome, or welcome back to my channel. So Destiny was live and called Amber. If someone said I smell like swamp to thousands of people there, is no way I am talking to them or laughing with them. Comment down below and tell me what you thought of Amber's behavior during the live stream. Don't forget to subscribe. She called me. Hello? Hello? What do you want? Nothing. I was just on live and I thought I'd give you a call. Um. What are you doing? I don't think this. <laughs> I just made a smoothie. You don't think that's a little weird? But you answered the phone. I know you're watching. I'm literally not. I didn't even know you were live. Oh. Well, they bet I wouldn't do it, so I just did it. Okay, but you calling me so willy-nilly, like, aren't you supposed to be hilly? Hilly. Hilly. <laughs> aren't you supposed to be hilly? I don't get it. How are you laughing on the phone with someone who brings you so much trauma? It's, it's not really that funny if I'm your abuser, so... Oh my god. Well, I'm just saying. I know that you are watching because you literally messaged me on Facebook saying that I was talking about your mom. So what do you mean? Someone messaged me on Instagram and said that you're talking about my mom in prison. I didn't. Okay, and I'm just letting you know my mom has nothing to do with YouTube, so just keep her out of your mouth. But you talked about my mom. Because you brought her up, honey. <laughs> It's nice the same one. thing. Totally different. My mom didn't beat you up. Oh. My mom respected you and was kind to you. <laughs> what? You started this drama. Like, you're not going to get the nice Amber Lynn. Like, you started all of this. I don't want you to be nice. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I agreed to call you, because I knew it was going to be a hash out. A hash out? What is a hash out? Amber, please stop. The sound of her voice makes me think she still likes Destiny. What kind of smoothie did you make? Oh my god. Like some simple, like low-key ingredients, like some ice, a banana, some PB2 chocolate, like... Why are you saying it's my fault you didn't get weight loss surgery? I didn't say that. I haven't even spoken about weight loss surgery in like a hot minute. Well, people are saying that you said it's my fault because you... I guess regressed. Destiny, look at the people who are watching you. That's all they want from you. They don't like you. Like, no tea, no shade. I don't, like, I don't understand why, like, you calling me, like, what does this do for you? I don't know. I just thought I would do it. I didn't think you'd answer, but you called me back. But doesn't your fiance think it's weird that, like, your whole YouTube presence is, like, revolved around your ex ask wifey the same thing oh baby do you think it's weird like is that how you bought her a candle with that money is that what's up yeah actually it is i don't care i i figured i figured as much yeah so you've been watching if you knew i got her a kindle you've been watching the live don't fucking lie so, so your fiance doesn't think this is weird baby do you think it's weird yep she still loves destiny mm. I have nothing to say. she has nothing to say she does not care Okay, I'm not gonna say anything regarding that. I just think it's really weird. It's very like money hungry. If you need to heal, I have a really good therapist. I can give you their number. No, thank you. Well, I'm just saying, that's like a good way to heal. It's like, do it like a health, in a healthy way, but I feel like this is very, very unhealthy. And I feel like you're just doing it for money and it's hurting me. Like you're not hurting me, but I'm just saying, the reaction that the audience is giving is like, it has mess messed with my mental health a little bit. That's apparent. And you know what you're doing and it's all for money and it's kind of scary. And I didn't think you were that type of person. Oh, the only thing you have on me is I have a bad attitude. Yeah, I do. And then you sit there and you say, Amber Lynn is a good person, but she has her attitude that gets in the way. Have you ever thought of like mental illness as a problem? Well, I haven't necessarily gotten good reactions. Bullshit. What good reactions have I got? As soon as I got on live, everyone said I got fat. So. 
I, you act like I'm getting all this praise. You are. Literally everyone is following you. Team Destiny, Team Destiny, Amberlynn's an abuser. You're a very manipulative person. I have come to terms that my mental illness does make me manipulate in ways manipulate. For my mental illness to be used against me by my ex is pretty shitty. Like, I know T on him. Like, I know T on your whole fucking family times 12, but I'm not that person. That T on my brother? Yeah, he was a coke addict. Like, you act like we were, like, enemies or something. I was one of the first people you called when you found out that your dad was not your dad. My brother's business is my brother's business. I don't think he cares. Everyone knows that. Blah, 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 blah. I know. That's why I'm not going to sit there and talk about you. Like, I've dealt with it. Like, I felt like I had to defend myself. So that's why I did what I did. But then I realized it was so bad for mental health. And I'm just not that type of person. You are that type of person. And it's like you and Becky being in cahoots is disgusting. You don't know what Becky put me through. And no one does. No one does because I am not that person. Like, I wish you would just keep leave my name out of your mouth. I mean, same. On with your life. And I'm sure Becky feels the same way. All right, let's go. I don't talk about her. I don't want to hear it, because you do. And still me. I I literally haven't talked about you in, I, what, live stream era, which was two years ago. And then here you come around the woodwork. That's why Becky has literally texted me saying she doesn't understand why you can't keep her name out of your mouth. When? For how long ago? That was like, like a year. It was I like a month ago. Someone said you can't sell bath water if you don't shower. Okay. First of all, bath water isn't shower water, and shower water isn't bath water. I don't take baths, but I do shower. What? Please don't ever call me again. Don't text me. Have fun with your life. I literally had to unblock your number to call you. It's fine. Destiny, I'm vlogging. Okay. You're the one that unblocked me on Facebook and had to go out of your way and message me. I said one thing about your mom. I just said I didn't know that she had gotten in trouble for apparently some kind of service dog incident. Okay, well, she didn't. So, like I said, keep my mom's name out of your mouth. I mean, same to you. I'm just saying you can't tell me that when you don't do it. Like, I get I that it was addressing what happened to you with her. But there's no reason for you to still talk about her anymore. Hey guys. I didn't say anything else. Trust me, there's a lot I could say and you know that. And I'm choosing not to because I love her and I respect her and you know that we got close. Any other questions before I hang up? Ugh. Anything else? Because I swear to you, this is it. Like, have fun making money on this phone call. Um, if you'd like, give me half. Like from everything. <laughs> you have? Don't even start with your shit. I don't care how much money you say you spent on me. You made plenty of money off of me. You don't Anyways, so you don't pay questions? for any of your friends to do anything with you? Or is it because you don't have any? No, I don't pay for people anymore. I'm done. Like i I am in a relationship with someone who pays half the bills and it's fucking splendid. I feel like this is might be slightly disrespectful. Like I don't know though. I mean, it seems like she's fine with it, but like, I would say you would also respect your fiance in the same way. And I really hope that you don't cheat on her. I just want to say that. I mean, she's been here this whole time, just listening and watching. Uh oh, hello. Why did you lie about the person you're with and say it's been two different people and it's not? I didn't lie. Come on now. I it's already lie. out there. Becky already Nothing told me it's all out it's there. Also, it's also out there all kinds of bullshit lies that don't even make any sense about me. Like rumors are rumors. That's exactly that. It wasn't a rumor. Becky said you literally moved her in there with you when Becky was still living there. Uh, that is a lie, says Maury. Becky was not living here. Like it was right after y'all broke up. Becky was not living here. Like you literally bringing Becky into this conversation is on you, bro. I want you to know that. It's fine. But she does not want to be talked about online. Becky literally said I could have called her if she wasn't at work right now. I don't think to talk about tea. I don't damn well not to talk about me. 
No, 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 no. Because she told me, do not talk about me. And I told her, okay then, you don't talk about me either. And we agreed as two individuals who once loved each other and cared about each other to do that. And now you are like manipulating me into talking about her. So can, if you have anything to ask, let it be about me and the drama with you and not my girlfriend, not Becky. Like you're just trying to like get me into this little like spark web and it's not happening. I'm trying to be a healthy queen, so. Well, I did not get denied for weight loss surgery on period. <clears throat> Are you still gonna go through with it? I will talk about my weight loss surgery on my channel. <laughs> Someone said the silence is so loud. Because get it all out now, because I swear to you, I'm done. And How many times um, are you going to say it? You better give me half of this money. <laughs> Someone asked if your, whoever you're dating is going to make an appearance in a video. Nope. I don't want to put her in that. Oh, you don't want to put her in that, but you put everyone else. No, 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 no. It's called everyone else was fine with that. Why aren't they? Because she's a grown-ass woman. She doesn't want to be on the internet. She doesn't have social media. She doesn't even have social media. She doesn't do that type of stuff. She doesn't want to be a part of it. Then how did y'all meet if she doesn't have social media? Why is it in her business? It's just saying. Like It doesn't make any sense. This, if she had social okay. media then, but she doesn't now. She doesn't have social media at all. Like YouTube. Like she has a YouTube. Like to watch YouTube. Durr. Like who doesn't? But like she just doesn't do the social media thing. Someone said address the wifey tattoo. Did she have that tattoo before y'all got together? Like I said, I am only answering questions about me or you or the situation that we're in. Not about Becky, not about my girlfriend, nothing like that. How many people are watching you? Because like I said, I'm literally not on there. There's 1,600 people. Holy! Okay, hi, everybody. <laughs> You should know, even though you hate me and I hate you, you should know my personality still stands. I'm still the same personality. But yet you said you've changed. Because you're oh, a grown bitch, woman I've changed now. where it matters, but I still have the same personality. Yes. Well, I'll let you go. Um, it's been an hour, so. Sorry if I uh, came off as a bitch at any point. I just wasn't expecting you to call. And after everything you've done, there's a lot of resentment and animosity, of course. So if I was like a bitch or rude, I apologize. And same to your fiance. Um, I just, I don't think there should be any more communication between us though. And I really just for like the sake of like respect, please. And morals maybe just like, don't talk about me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just, yeah, I just, uh, I'm very hurt by you, like the whole nine. And I noticed that when I'm hurt, I lashed out a bit. And like, I found out a lot of things that I didn't know about ever since this live stream situation started happening. Like you were pretty much faking being my friend and that kind of sucks with my brain a little bit. So, um, yeah. So if I lashed out at all, and if I seem rude at all, I do apologize, but I hope you and your fiance nothing but the best and continue making that money on YouTube. All right, bye, Pookie. Bye. bye. <laughs>